Welcome to the magic of math. Today, we're gonna to be multiplying and dividing integers to determine which quotients and products are negative and which are positive. Here we go. We're asked to drag and drop each expression into the appropriate box to identify whether its value is negative or positive. So I'm gonna ask you to pause the video here determine where each of these six mathematical expressions would go, which category, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Good luck. Welcome back. So let's review our rules. We're talking negative or positive, and we can see that we have multiply, divide, multiply, divide, multiply, divide. So we're talking about products and quotients. Well, when we have a negative value, that means we've had two values with different signs. So meaning a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive, same thing with division. If our product or quotient is going to have a positive value, then we know that both values needed to have the same sign because a positive multiplied by a positive is positive and a negative multiplied by a negative is positive. And that works for division as well. So let's move these up. So we're again, negative value, we're looking for different signs. And if they have the same sign, we know they'll have a positive value. We start with our first, negative two multiplied by negative four. Both values are negative, meaning they have the same sign. So we're gonna relocate that right here. Negative two times negative four will have a positive value. Next one, a positive eight divided by a negative two. Clearly, a positive and a negative, different signs. We're going to relocate that division here. 8 divided by negative 2. Our next is negative 9 multiplied by 7. Two different signs. We're going to have a negative product. Next one, negative 12 divided by 6. Two different signs. We're going to have a negative quotient. Then we have 5 times negative 3. Again, two different signs, so the product here will be negative because we have two different signs. And then our last, negative 14 divided by negative 2. Both values are the same sign, they're both negative, so our quotient here would be positive because they have the same sign. So there you have it. Same signs, positive quotient or product, different signs, negative product or quotient. And those are our rules for multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers. I thank you for joining me here today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.